Hi everyone, this week we have the 2024 Hyundai Kona, which received a refresh this year. So let's hop inside and see what's new. The Kona gets its first major overhaul to launch the second generation, with new sheet metal, new LED lighting, updated interior, safety, and more. The standard Kona is available in four trims and three powertrains, including an all-electric variant. The first thing of note is its all-new exterior. The Kona ditches its rugged, body-clad exterior of the first generation for a sleek EV look across the entire platform. The updated style is futuristic with an LED light bar that stretches across the front of the vehicle. Proportions have changed as it has increased in size with an extra 5.7 inches of length, 2.3 inches in its wheelbase, and an inch wider. Around back, an LED tail lamp stretches across the hatch with additional sharply angled brake lights in the lower fascia pushed out to the sides. Various wheel designs are available depending on the trim, ranging in size from 17 up to 19 inches. The Kona's powertrain options carry over from the previous generation. The standard base engine is a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder that generates 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. Stepping up to the N-Line and Limited models will get you the turbocharged 1.6-liter 4-cylinder with 190 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Having spent time in the Limited, the 1.6-liter turbo offers a fair amount of pep in its acceleration as it launches from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 7.5 seconds as one of the quicker options in the class. When it arrived with a full 13.2 gallon tank, it offers between 340 and 420 miles of driving range. It's rated at 26 miles per gallon combined for the all-wheel drive model I drove, and after a week of primarily suburban driving, I averaged 28 miles per gallon. Hopping inside, drivers will face an expansive dual 12.3 inch touchscreen display setup with a 4.2 inch driver information display. As part of Kona's new layout, the shift-by-wire gear selector has been relocated from the center console to a stock behind the steering wheel, allowing for more storage and open console area. Brushed metal accents surround the interior of the Limited to give it a more upscale vibe. The, the infotainment system integrates wirelessly with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on lower trims, includes two front USB-C ports and two rear USB-C ports. Unfortunately, though, higher trim models like the Limited and N-Line that come with the navigation system lose the wireless connection. The Kona is quite roomy inside with comfortable seats up front and in back. There is noticeably more space in the new model compared to the outgoing first generation. The Limited came with heated and ventilated seats that worked well. The leather seats are supportive with sufficient padding. The front seats are also 30% slimmer to maximize rear passenger legroom, and the second row curveless bench seat also enhances available space. It offers 25.5 cubic feet of cargo space behind the second row and 63.7 cubic feet with the seats folded flat. Both numbers are significantly improved. The Kona is an important vehicle to Hyundai as it serves as an entry point for many buyers with a low starting price of around $24,000. And at that price, it's packed with the latest Hyundai Smart Sense Advanced Driver Assist and safety features. The new generation is even better than the last one with more overall interior space, improved technology, and good driving dynamics. Whether or not you like the new exterior style, it stands out as something different and modern. That's a wrap of my quick take of the 2024 Hyundai Kona. You can read the full review at drivechicago.com or subscribe below for even more automotive content. And give us a follow on our other social channels, including X, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm Jim O'Brill, Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.